Imagine you live on an island, a tropical paradise. Occasionally, a boat comes by to drop off supplies. One day, you notice something you haven't seen before, an ant. As time goes by, you begin to notice more and more, not just in your home, but across the whole village. Then, across the whole island. The trickle of ants becomes a flood, a plague. You cannot avoid them. In their endless search for food, they spray acid into your eyes as you sleep, kill your livestock, change the plants you knew, and destroy the wild food you gathered. What I have rather dramatically outlined is a biological invasion. The arrival of a new species that quickly spreads and reaches high abundances to the detriment of local economies, social groups, and the environment. I use the example of yellow crazy ants in the Pacific for dramatic effect. However, a less emotive approach reveals the staggering economic, social, and conservation costs of invasive species. In the USA, the economic cost of the fire ant is around seven to eight billion dollars annually. In New Zealand, the invasive Argentine ant is estimated to cost the country around sixty-eight million dollars per year. In a country whose economy is based on agriculture, invasive species currently represent an expensive problem and a future spectre. For social impacts, look no further than the yellow fever mosquito, notorious vector of dengue fever. Yellow fever and other diseases responsible for much suffering and millions of deaths worldwide. Invasive species also have conservation impacts. Ecosystems are altered, species driven to extinction, and community dynamics changed. New Zealand provides an apposite example. The invasive common wasp has reached densities higher here than anywhere else on the planet. Their biomass and honeydew beech forests is estimated to be equal to that of all the native birds combined. They feast on invertebrates, attack and compete with native birds, and are known to have killed bird chicks and, tragically, humans. Increased global interconnectivity has heightened the risk of biological invasions. The need for effective border security is paramount. However, no system is infallible, and new invasive species will arrive. Research into managing established invasive species is therefore critical. Working at Victoria University. I use molecular techniques to begin the search for a biocontrol agent for one of New Zealand's worst invasive species, the common wasp. The strategy and methods we employed are not limited to wasps and could be widely applied to invasive species management. The strategy is innovative, intuitive, relatively quick, and cheap. It is a significant commercial opportunity that could help provide effective, efficient, and expeditious management for a massive economic, social, and conservation issue. After all, it's not just about pulling the wings off wasps; it's about managing our place in an increasingly small and fragile world.